Hi everybody, my name is Mrs. Johnson and I'm a first grade teacher from Sunnyview Primary School. I'd like just to take a moment to say hi to all of my friends at Sunnyview. I hope everyone is doing well and I really miss you a whole lot. Uh, today, welcome families and students. We're going to be reading, talking, and writing together today. I hope everyone's ready. <clears throat> I know the text that we're going to read today may be familiar to some of you, but we all know that good readers always go back and reread. Friends, I'm trying to solve a mystery. Would you like to work with me to solve this mystery? You know, someone who solves a mystery could be called a detective or a sleuth. A sleuth can also mean a bloodhound. We could work together to solve a mystery and I'll call you the junior sleuth hound. That's a made up compound word. Did you know that a sleuth can also mean bloodhound and a bloodhound is a dog used for tracking clues? Hmm. Do you think we'll need to track some clues if we want to solve a mystery? If you're interested in assisting me, I could be one of the super sleuths and you could be the junior sleuth hound. I'd like to take a second to share the letter written on our screen. Dear junior sleuth hound, mysteries are all around. There could be a mystery on your playground. There could be a mystery in a faraway land. There could be mysteries between the pages of this book. So what do you do to solve a mystery? Become a sleuth hound. Look for clues. Ask interesting questions. Then put all the pieces together and prove your answers. This book gives you a chance to practice skills that sleuths use. As you read this book, use the super sleuth steps to find answers to some really big questions. Good luck. I see on my screen here that there's some different things. There's a camera, there's keys, there's a flashlight and a compass. How could these be used to help a detective or a sleuth? What would you use the camera for? Would you use it to take pictures of clues that you have found? How would you use the keys? What about the flashlight? Could the flashlight help you find things that go along with a mystery? And would the compass be able to help you if you found a map? Perhaps these items would be really good for a super sleuth like you. And of course, being a super sleuth involves several steps. Take a look at these steps with me. I notice the steps are divided into four parts. Look for clues ask questions, make your case, and prove it. When you look for clues, you look back through the text and pictures. I know most of you go back and look for text evidence. That really makes me think of something we do every day. Super sleuths ask questions. When you're reading, can you stop and ask questions about what you're reading? Make your case. Does that mean case like a suitcase? I don't think it does. I think it means you're trying to prove what you think by going back to the text and finding evidence. And it goes right along with prove it. Show what you've learned. You could even work with others to share your adventure. For this unit, We've been talking about things we treasure. Do you remember? Are these treasures treasures like emeralds and rubies and diamonds and gold? No, they're not, are they? These are things that we treasure. Special memories, special things from our family, maybe something that a family member has passed down from one family member to the next. We want to make sure in this unit we look for clues about treasures, maybe even things we treasure. Are you ready to go for it? Our story today is called Cook Up a Surprise. Can you follow along with me as I read? Mom, said Amy, next week is Miss Carter's birthday. She likes flowers and dogs and cooking. 
What surprise can our class make? Right away, I see something important in the text. Do you? It says Miss Carter likes flowers, dogs, and cooking. I wonder what surprise will they make? Will they use something from these ideas to help them make a nice gift for Miss Carter? Let's keep reading and find out. Mom had the best idea. The next day, Amy told everyone. That's a great idea, they said. Oh, I can't wait to find out what the class will do for their teacher. What do you think they will do for her? I'm sure she will treasure it. The next Tuesday was Miss Carter's birthday. After lunch, Amy raised her hand. Then the whole class said, Happy birthday, Miss Carter. Louise handed Miss Carter a big book. On the front was a drawing by Jane. It showed a colorful fruit salad. The title of the book was Our Best Recipes. Hmm, that sounds like another important clue. The title of the book was Our Best Recipes. Remember at the beginning of the story? What did we learn about what Miss Carter likes? Can you go back and find that evidence in the text? That's right, she likes cooking. You use recipes when you cook. Let's keep reading to find out how Miss Carter feels about her gift. Miss Carter opened the book. She saw a recipe on each page. There were recipes for many things. The children had gotten recipes from their parents. The recipes were for their favorite foods. They had put them in the book and drawn pictures. This is a wonderful surprise, said Miss Carter. I'll treasure it forever. Did you think this was a gift she would treasure? If you did, you were right. Now let's be a sleuth. Let's look at the look for clues portion of this page. Can you go back to the text to find evidence to support why Amy and her classmates think Amy's mom's idea was so good? Do you remember when we talked about that at the beginning of the story? Do you think you could get a piece of paper and write down why Amy and her classmates think Amy's mom idea was so good? How about asking questions? What would you ask the students about how they created the book? How would you create a recipe book for your teacher? And make your case. What details from the text would give you clues about a different gift to give Miss Carter. What would it be? How would you convince your classmates to agree with you? There's another great opportunity to get a piece of paper and write down what gift you would give to Miss Carter and why. If you'd like to pause the screen here so that you can go back and reread, that would be a really good plan. If you're ready, let's go ahead and go to the next slide. I have a challenge for you. What would be your best recipe? Can you write it down and share it with your class later? Remember, a recipe has a list of ingredients. A recipe needs specific directions and the amounts for your ingredients. A recipe needs directions for any temperatures and times. Now with the help of an adult, can you follow your recipe and create a dish at home? I hope you have fun and enjoy making this recipe. Well everyone, that's it for today. Thank you for working with me today. Don't forget to go back and reread the text and take any opportunities you can to write down what your great answers are. That's it and bye for now.